What is up guys, Ice361 here, back with another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get 120 FPS on any PS5 game. Yes, guys, I got myself a PS5. Finally, I waited five months and I finally bought one. As you can see, if I go on Fortnite right now, as you can see in the top right corner of the screen i am currently running 120 fps and in my settings that's report feedback in my settings you can see i have 120 fps mode now a lot of people don't know how to do this a lot of people are confused on how to do this so i'm here to tell you guys so the first thing that i want to mention is that a lot of people think that you need a HDMI 2.1 or higher to support 120 FPS. Now, for the people who think that, I want to let you know in the most respectful way possible, you are completely wrong. If you want to play in 4K with 120 FPS, yes, you are forced to have a HDMI 2.1 or higher. If your TV or monitor does not support 4K and you want to play 1080p or if your 4K TV does not does not have a HDMI 2.1 you can play 1080p 120 FPS with a HDMI 1.4 or higher as long as you have a HDMI 1.4 or higher, you can play any PS5 game 1080p 120 FPS. Obviously, your TV or monitor has to support 120 hertz. My monitor has 165 hertz. So, I can definitely play 120 FPS. I mean, I'm playing it right now. On YouTube, you guys what i'm playing right now the gameplay that you're watching you guys see it in 60 fps because youtube you can only upload a video on youtube in 60 fps you cannot go higher but trust me guys i mean you can even see in, on my fps counter in fortnite i am playing on 120 fps and my monitor is hdmi 1.4 and it's 1080p so I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can do this. All right, guys. So what you want to do to get 120 FPS on any PS5 game is you want to go over into your settings. The first setting you are going to want to change is in screen and video. Now, the first thing you want is to make sure that you are on 1080p or 4K. It could work if you're higher, but I mean, 4K and 1080p is just the best. If you're on 8K, if you somehow have an 8K TV, then uh, you can only do 60 FPS. So there's no point of trying if you're going to play on 8K, but not much people have 8K. You want to make sure HDR is off completely. Some TVs are forced to have HDR, like the old TV I used to play on. You're forced to have HDR. If your TV or monitor forces you to use HDR, sadly, you cannot play on 120 FPS. And the final setting you want to change is enable 120 Hertz output. You want to put this at automatic or on. Some people have on. I only have automatic. I don't know why it's like that, but it is automatic still lets you use it though. The next setting you are going to want to change is in accessories. Go over to controllers and then scroll down until you see game presets. Now in your game presets, you want to go to performance mode or resolution mode and you want to put your default as performance mode. If you put your default as resolution mode, then you will have a higher graphics, but 60 FPS. If you put it to performance mode, you'll have lower graphics, which you'll just have 1080p, standard 1080p with a lot less detail, but on 120 FPS, which in story mode games, maybe you would want resolution mode, but in online multiplayer like Fortnite, Warzone, etc., you're going to want to have 
that 120 FPS performance mode because it will help you out a lot. Now, there are a few things with this that you have to take into consideration. If your TV forces you to use HDR, you cannot use 120 FPS. If your monitor is not uh, 1080p, then you cannot do this. If your monitor is 4K, if your monitor or TV is 4K, then you are forced to have HDMI 2.1. If your monitor is 1080p, all you need is a HDMI 1.4. My monitor is 1080p. I have an Asus monitor. It is 1080p and has a HDMI 4.1 and I am able to play games on 120 FPS. Now, if you have a 4K monitor, if you have a 4K monitor, if your monitor or TV supports 4K, if you want to play 4K 120 FPS, then you're forced to have a HDMI 2.1 cord. But if you do not want to play 4K 120 FPS, if you just want to play 1080p 120 FPS, all you need is a HDMI 1.4 and above. And most TVs and monitors support 1080p and HDMI 1.4 and above. So you will be able to use the 120 FPS Hertz FPS or 120 Hertz mode if your monitor or TV does not require you to use HDR. So now I'm going to go into Fortnite and Warzone to show you guys exactly how to put the setting on. So let's jump into that. All right. So one thing that I forgot to mention is obviously your monitor or TV has to have 120 Hertz or higher. If it does not support 120 Hertz, you cannot play 120 FPS. My monitor is a 165 Hertz monitor. So the most FPS that my monitor can give me is 165 FPS, but I only have uh, 120 FPS on PS5. Now, you guys right now are watching me play on 60 FPS because YouTube can only upload videos at 60 FPS. Also, I haven't played Fortnite in a few days. I'm gonna be honest, this game is getting kind of stale for me, but I'm gonna keep putting out content for this video. Also, because uh, just look at my ping right now. I always have a high ping playing this game. Look at all those red lines and the yellow X. This game's Wi-Fi is like really bad recently. I know it's not my Wi-Fi because I literally don't lag at all in any other game other than this. But besides that, FPS wise, if you look next to my map, you can see I am running 120 FPS on YouTube. You guys see 60 because YouTube can only upload videos in 60 FPS. So on YouTube, you guys are seeing 60, but in game i am seeing 120 and when you guys do it you're gonna see 120 and you're gonna see a much much bigger performance um now the thing is if you have an 8k tv uh which 8k tvs first of all are really expensive so if you have one you're rich as hell uh but if you have an 8k tv and your ps5 supports 8k because it could do that then you're forced to play on 60. Yeah, look at my ping right now. Look at all those red X's. I have 16 ping, but it feels like 100 because of those X's. That's why I don't play Fortnite anymore. It's like, I haven't played this game in so long. Okay, well, besides that, uh, if you have an 8K TV, then again, you cannot play on the 120 FPS. Unless you have a 4K TV or a 1080p TV that has that supports 120 hertz and if you want to play 4k 120 fps you're forced to have a hdmi 2.1 or higher and if you want to play 1080p 120 fps you are forced to have a hdmi 1.4 or higher but pretty much every tv and monitor has a hdmi 1.4 and higher now for warzone i'm not gonna bother opening the game because it's gonna mess up my recording but for Warzone, 
Because Warzone is a PlayStation 4 game, because it's a PS4 game, the only way to get 120 FPS on Warzone is if you download all five of the high resolution packs. And if you want to go back to 60 FPS, then you just delete the high resolution packs. For for Vanguard, if you play Call of Duty Vanguard, in the settings, in graphics, you will see 120 hertz mode. Um, I play on the PS5 version of Vanguard with 120 hertz, which is amazing. And uh, as soon as you play on 120 FPS, you are not going to want to go back to 60. 60 FPS, I used to see, when I used to play 60 FPS on my PS4, it used to look good to me. But now I have 120, every time I go back to 60 FPS, it looks so, like, butchery and laggy. I, I don't even know how to explain it. It's not lagging. It just looks laggy because I'm used to double the what 60 is, which is 120. But uh, once you play on 120, oh my god, you're never going to want to go back. <laughs> and everybody who plays competitive games knows that the higher FPS you have, the higher reaction time you have. Because the more pixels you're seeing at a faster rate, the quicker you can react. I have 120 FPS, if I 1v1 my friends on 60 FPS, I'm gonna have that advantage over them. Because I'm doubled what they see, I can react twice as fast as them, I see things twice as fast as them. And my monitor even has a 0.1 millisecond refresh time, so I get no delay either with 120 FPS. like. It's not as good as a PC, but for a console, I'm amazed. I just got my PS5, and I'm amazed. So yeah, guys, that is the end of the video. If you are not already subscribed, make sure you are. More PlayStation 5 content coming to the channel very soon. I will see you all in another video. Peace.